Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher. Welcome back to my man cave, and this is episode number 63A, the question portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. I've got three items here. One that's pretty difficult, and then the fourth one here that's on the camera is really a repeat, for, but for some of you that haven't really been following my videos, it may be new to you and interesting. Others can ignore it, so let's begin. Alright, let's start with number one, a logical place to start, don't you agree? This hammer was sent to me by my friend Roger, a shop teacher in California, and I do have to return it. Well, you're thinking, as I thought, no big deal. It's a ball-peen hammer. We know what it is. Well, it is a little different in that it's very heavy. It's stainless steel. There's no wooden handle on it. Beautifully made. Note that the head is TIG welded on. Highly buffed. Appears to be unused, but the unusual thing and I'll show you that in the follow-up, that this is a $400 hammer. Now what makes it so valuable? Or was it just purchased by the Pentagon to help install $200 toilet seats? I don't know for sure the answer to that, so I'm hoping that some of you will be able to identify it. Roger bought it for just a couple bucks at an estate sale. And there is a trademark on here. I'm not going to show that to you, but what is it that is so unusual or so costly to sell something like this? What trade was it used in? I'm sure it's not for banging tin. And thank you to Roger for sending that. I do have to send it back. Maybe I said that. Item 2 was uh, sent to me or given to me, loaned to me, by my friend John. Uh, the same man that uh, owns the, the big John Deere combine that you saw me in. So this is just a local advertising item by a standard oil company agent, and it's probably from the 50s. Well, we know darn well that it's a bottle opener on this end. It's a multi-purpose tool, but what does this end do? What's the purpose of that? Does it have something to do with oil, or is it just a kitchen gadget given out for advertising purposes? Item 3, really way too simple. Everyone in the Midwest knows this, but there might be people in other parts of the country that uh, do not know what this is. And it's dried out, and it is in the, uh, the stage where it would be harvested. It's a major crop in the Midwest, and inside the pods, of course, there are little seeds. What are these, and what are the uses? And I want to tell you that there's hundreds of uses, and it is a commodity. And this is item four. Let's go upstairs to the computer, because I will, in fact, be lifting this footage from an older video. If you've seen it before, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Well, I thought this was an interesting gadget. I no longer have it. That's why I'm using video rather than the actual item. Uh, what in the world is this tool? And it certainly is a Rube Goldberg uh, looking device, isn't it? And it is about uh, uh, 11 inches long in overall length. But look at all the different functions this thing has. And I've covered up the trademark here with black tape. That's what that is. You know, it's got levers and cams and just about everything you can think of here. And it's kind of a medieval looking tool. Rather wicked. And I'm not going to give you any hints at all other than it's used in the skilled trades. It must not have been very successful because this is the only one I've ever seen. It's not something that, that uh, shows up very often. But uh, you tool lovers out there probably know what it is, or some of you do. Let's look at it close up now. Yeah, 
and if you look at it from uh, this way it's got a wicked looking hook that comes up right here hawk bill what do you think any ideas at all you know the man that invented this probably went insane and didn't get much sleep during the development process and he would have had to make hundreds of prototypes I would think before it would work and I would have thought this would have been an expensive tool at the time okay. not something that would have been four dollars okay here's the extra credit a very famous man he's been dead for 70 years died at a young age I have several pictures of him he always had an appearance of sadness and melancholy there he is as a fairly young man here he is and you get extra points on your extra credit if you can tell me the artist the famous muralist who painted this my only hint is south of the border down Mexico way all right I hope you enjoyed the video and take a few guesses and put them in the comments I'll see you next time in part B where I give you all the answers thanks for watching